The Hopwood family of Liverpool just exist on 30 pounds and 53 pence a week, and that includes all their entitled benefits. There are five in the family, and for the six months that Harry Hopwood has been out of work, all of them have come to regard hunger, not imagined hunger, but real hunger, as a way of life. This was their larder the day I was there, all the food they had in the house. They had less than four pounds to feed them for four days, a pound a day. And like all the families in this film, the Hopwoods are not the worst off. They never go anywhere because they can't afford to. The children never get toys or books because they can't afford them. Their lives are unchanging and wasting. The Hopwoods hardly ever eat fresh food. Mrs. Irene Hopwood is very ill and has been told by her doctor that she may recover only if she eats the protein and vitamins found in fresh food. On what the government ironically calls social security, she can't afford to get better. Do you ever feel hungry? Sometimes, now and again. But I mean, do you ever feel hungry at a time when there's not enough to eat? Do you ever come in and there's nothing in the cupboard to eat? Yeah. When does that, does that happen much? Sometimes. When you come in, what, what do you want and it's not there? Hmm. I'm trying to make toast and that and there's no bread yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. What worries you most, obviously, apart from Irene's illness, what worries you most about the children? Well, the kids are not getting the proper food. They're not getting out like ordinary kids. We don't get much, we try. Yeah. But uh, the meat's the high, you just can't get it. Can't yeah. afford it. What's gone up so much in the last few months that it's really gone out of your reach? Well, potatoes, we only have them on a Sunday now. Really? <laughs> don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Potatoes on a Sunday. Yeah. Don't have them there during the week now, like. They're uh, cheapest at about eight pence a pound. You have to go looking for that. Yeah. It's about, about seven weeks in this since we've had a decent uh, Sunday's dinner. We've had yeah. breast or uh, yeah. cheap things, sausages, yeah. you know, different things yeah. like that. How do you think the kids put up with it? I think they're really uh, ignorant of the fact, you know what I mean? They're more or less just brought up to it. It's a shame, like, this should be the happiest time of their lives when it's basically it's the worst. You've got nothing to look back on. When are the when are the happiest times mm. for you at home? Don't think any really. No, 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 not really. You ever been on a holiday? No, never. Ever been to the countryside? Yeah, once when I was in boarding school. What did you think of it? I think it was all right. Would you like to live there? Yeah. Mm. Do you ever go on holiday? No. Oh. Irene, do you? Only when I was in school, when I went to uh, Colomandy for a week. When you were in school? Mm, how old I was you? 11. How old are you now? 35. And how old are you? 36. Yeah. What do you think your children's future will be? Do you ever think what kind of future they'll have? Well, they've got no future there. They've got no future there at all. None of us have. It's like, uh, I think it'd be easier to, to uh, save time, than not uh, Put up with this. Save time in prison? Yeah. It must be, you wouldn't, eh? Uh... Do you feel you're in it? Do you feel you're serving time? It is, it's just like a prison. It's worse, in fact, because you, you're paying for this. Because I pay me rent every week, you know, and it's gone up uh, 190 on the 4th of August. Mm. It's not even worth 190 on its own. This is our bedroom now, yeah. John. See the state of the paper. Yeah. This is how the Hopwoods are forced to live. Their council estate is not officially a slum, but merely one of the soul-shredding monsters thrown up as barracks. It reminds me of my first summer's walk into the wasteland of Harlem. Bravely, Harry shows me around. No clothes in the wardrobe, no sheets on the bed. 
cigarette ends to be rolled and smoked again and again. What do you feel, Harry, when, you, when we're talking to you about this? I mean, here we are going through your house with cameras and... I feel like chasing you, actually. What? <laughs> I feel ashamed, you know, the state of it now. You're bearing up very well. We're asking a lot of questions about how you live and how you... The little clothes you have and the fact you've got cigarette ends beside your bed. Not many people would bear up as well as you, but do you feel... How do you feel as we take over your house like this? It's in the open now, isn't it? And it'll go all the way, like, I would eat. Yeah. What effect do you think it'll have on people who watch this programme? I hope it'll have an effect on the uh, health to get a house, actually, that's all. Mm. Not worried what other people think, like, you know, I don't want any charity or nothing. I just don't want yeah. us to get back away. What kind of house would you like to live in? A house with um, bedrooms upstairs. Mm. The big kitchen, the big back kitchen. Front garden and the back garden. You'd like a garden? Yeah, and a dog. And a dog. <laughs> yeah. You don't have these things here, do you? No. Do you often look at telly and see people who are obviously much better off than you? What, do you think you could ever be like that? Mm, don't know. You know, people who dress up and, and eat in restaurants and all that sort of thing. You do know any people like that? No. You know any kids whose parents do that? No. Do you think you might ever be like that? I don't think so. Why not? The only way you're going to get the money from in there. Perhaps the least understood crisis in the last few months has been that more and more impoverished parents can no longer afford to feed their children, not even baked beans, not even potatoes, the old staples. Incidentally, these pictures are not from the 30s as they might appear. They are from the 70s.